Hi, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you might be watching the midweek moment. This is Pastor Doug with St. Andrew's Lutheran in Speedway and Faith Lutheran in Avon. We just paused for a few minutes in the middle of what this week seems like a busy week. I hope that you got out and exercised your right to vote uh, in Tuesday's uh, midterm elections or whatever we call it. And then I know Friday is Veterans Day. We had a brief uh, recognition on Sunday at church, but not enough to pay respects to those who've served our country and in our congregations. And of course, join me in remembering in prayer the many men and women who serve continually this time of year all around the country. But there's much going on and we're in the Thanksgiving season, which is worthy of a midweek moment, perhaps next week. But I wanted to just highlight for you for a moment this next season of the church year, the first season of the church year, Advent, Advent. And we have this handy dandy, beautiful um, Advent devotional uh, starting in, um, on November 27th, 27th, it'll be the first Sunday of Advent. And we will have the four-week period of Advent in the church. It's part of our, um, our history, it's part of our liturgy, to recognize the seasons of the year. And then to help you more readily engage in Advent, I wanted to encourage you, if you have not already, to pick up an Advent devotional. They're both in large and small print in both uh, lobby narthexes of the congregations, pick up your Advent devotional, join us in the Faith Formation Program uh, starting on November 27th at 7 o'clock as we engage the Advent text in this devotional for the four weeks of Advent on the Sunday Night Faith Formation Program. Please tune in and join us uh, at 7 o'clock. The Zoom links come out on your email. And then in the same way, on the Wednesday nights, uh, rather than the study of the text for the coming week, the Wednesday night Bible studies will focus on the themes of Advent. We'll look at one per week. And then because of the way that uh, the season uh, ends up working, we will uh, start on the last Wednesday of November. Well, it'll be the 23rd, right before Thanksgiving. We'll go ahead and probably still meet that night if we have enough interest. And we'll talk about that first theme of Advent, which is hope. Hope does not disappoint us. The lots of Bible passages about hope. Advent goes for four weeks. Advent has been observed in the church since the fifth century. It's Latin for to come or the coming, or essentially we've given it a modern day translation of meaning our waiting our waiting time for Christmas. This is counter to the world who is rushing ahead uh, to the Christmas season, and we're being pressed in on every side to buy our gifts and get prepared for the season. Advent runs counterproductive or countercultural, probably a better word, against that to slow us down, invite us to be more intently aware of this waiting of the coming of Christ that we are doing in our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls. And this devotional will help. And then these themes, the theme of hope will be lifted up in worship on the first Sunday of Advent on November 27. We'll study that plus other things in Advent at the Faith Formation Sunday night at seven. And of course, on the Wednesday night, Bible study starting on the 23rd of November and then going through for four, four Wednesdays in December. We'll probably take a holiday break after that, but there are these themes of Advent. As you might remember, there's an Advent wreath uh, placed in the sanctuary uh, up by the altar. The circular wreath reminds us of the unending love of God. Each of the candles, there's three blue, <clears throat> three blue and usually one that's pink. And those have a theme associated with them. Hope, I mentioned, a second week theme is love. Look what this production team did for you this week, huh? Listen, you're not going to find this on TikTok or Facebook, but look at that, huh? 
Love is the second theme of Advent to be discussed on the second Sunday of Advent and the first of December. So those blue candles stand for hope, love. The third one is joy. And so there's an intentional change of color in the Advent wreath. So the candle is usually pink. I think it is in both churches. When that gets lit on the third week of Advent, which will be, what, December 10th or somewhere in there? I didn't plan that out. Anyway, joy will be the theme. Jesus said, I come to give you my joy, not as the world gives. So we wait and look forward to uh, the joy of the Lord, knowing that we're surrounded by God's love, that because of God's love for us, we have hope, uh, we have a future. We have something to look forward to in our lives. And then that hope, love, joy, themes of Advent, along with the season of waiting, bring us peace. Huh? Look at that. Peace, the last Sunday of Advent that sets the tone for the Christmas holiday itself, that the Prince of Peace the Lord of all lords, the King of kings, Jesus Christ, comes born anew. And we know in our hearts that this has already happened. Uh, so Advent is sometimes seen as like, what, the second coming? Because we know the final coming will be at one day down the road. But this is another way of living into uh, the life of Jesus. So we go counterculture to the world. We are starting out the Advent season, reminding ourselves of hope. We then look with thanksgiving on the love of God as one of the themes in the second week of Advent. This is again symbolized by the, the Advent wreath. We'll sing each week as the candle or candles get lit. The third candle on that wreath is a different color symbolizing joy. Jesus said, I came to give you my joy, not as the world gives, but as I give. And then finally, peace is that last week's theme of Advent. Advent, friends, I know doesn't start, well, really, it's just two weeks from Sunday. It'll mark the four-week period of the waiting on the Lord to be born again into our hearts, minds, bodies, and souls, and certainly uh, into our church. We pray that the renewal that comes from the birth of Christ, the, the fresh breath of grace uh, and love, hope, joy, and peace uh, come into our congregations, into your hearts and lives, into your homes, into the congregation, and out then into the world. This is our call of Advent. Uh, pick up at church, again, if you didn't already, your Advent devotional. These start uh, on uh, the 27th, as I said, and then both the Wednesday night Bible study and the uh, Sunday night faith formation programs will be looking at these texts and studying them more deeply. Now, this is the large print version, of course, but what you'll get is a Bible verse, something it call, it's called to ponder, and then a little reflection about that. So you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I, no need to have to see it to ponder. And then a little devotional thought with a prayer at the end. So these are really well done. We've had them before. The churches have paid for them. Please pick one up. There are extra copies. And so if you have a friend or family member who's perhaps they're homebound or don't have a church home, maybe their church doesn't have these you're more than welcome to pick one up and take it to them as well. So let's look forward to Advent together, my friends. May God bless you this day. Uh, God bless our veterans as we give thanks for their service to the Lord. And God bless you. We'll see you Sunday. Invite a friend to come with you uh, and see you Sunday as we celebrate uh, Jesus in our midst once again. And I look forward to seeing you then. God be with you till we meet again. Amen. And...